the question of informed consent is a very important one in, in all aspects of dentistry. And when it comes to managing a medical emergency, if a person is unconscious or is mentally disoriented, then they are giving you what is called implied consent. In other words, they can't respond to you. An unconscious person can't speak. A person who is mentally, uh, mentally disoriented cannot respond rationally. So we have what is called implied consent. You can render emergency care to that patient without them formally giving you permission to do so. However, if a person is conscious and is mentally oriented, uh, uh, an epileptic, a, a, a person who is having an asthmatic attack, an anginal attack, you have to get informed consent. You have to get consent for you to treat that patient. If they say no, you are not legally permitted to treat that patient. If they say yes, which I think would be the most logical thing, then you'd proceed with your treatment of that patient. Mm -hmm.